This is the Misfit Vegan Podcast, episode 210. Warning, this is a test of your subconscious operating system. Let's see how you're doing. So, it's pretty simple to pass this test. It's a one question test. All right, you ready? Have you been looking in the mirror and saying nice things to yourself? Have you been looking into your own eyes every single day, multiple times a day, and saying, I love you? You are beautiful, strong, and amazing. And I love you. And you are good enough. You are more than good enough. You are worthy and deserving of all the good and abundance in the universe. You are beautiful, strong, and amazing. Have you been saying this? Okay. <clears throat> they don't know. They don't get it. See, I have another question for you. Okay, this is part two. I thought it was one question, but see, I just I just make this stuff up as I go. So I didn't understand. There's two questions on the test. That's the first question. The second question is, and please let me know the answers to this question. Okay, that's the first question. Have you been doing that? Send me yes or no. Number two, have you noticed that you're getting more beautiful. Have you noticed that? Have you noticed that your your skin is looking more beautiful? Your hair is growing and more beautiful. <laughs> I need that's a thesaurus, Sherry. Um, have you noticed that your teeth are looking more beautiful? Your eyes are brighter? Your lips are looking more beautiful? Have you noticed your body's looking more beautiful? Have you noticed maybe you're losing weight or maybe you're toning your muscles? Maybe your boobs have lifted. Have you noticed that? Oh, oh, you haven't. Hmm. Hmm. Wayne Dyer famously said, when you change the way you look at things, The things you look at change. And I don't know if you know this to be true. But if you've been doing your mirror work, if you have been looking into the mirror and saying nice things into your own eyes to yourself, forming a new relationship with yourself, a relationship based on trust and kindness and keeping your word to yourself and doing little things, that you said you were going to do, okay? Remending, repairing that relationship with yourself, treating yourself with love and respect and kindness. You know, this is something they don't teach us to do. So I understand if you haven't been doing it, but see, the universe has you listening to this podcast right now. So apparently you're meant to hear this and you're supposed to start doing this if you haven't. And if you have been doing it, but you fell off because of the holidays, then guess what? You're human. So get back up. Get back on the path. You're going to get knocked down eight times. You got to get up nine. That's all. You just got to get up one more time. Get back on the path starting today. And I promise you, and this is going to sound crazy, but the way you look is going to change based on the love, how much love you send yourself. I can always tell, I can always tell when my clients are doing the mirror work. The mirror work is so simple, but yet what's easy to do is easy not to do, right? And so because it's so simple, a lot of people don't do it because they're like, this is not going to help me lose weight. This is not going to clear up my skin. This is not going to get rid of my wrinkles. This is not possible. Well, Hey, the word impossible, if you look at it, it's actually spelled I'm 
impossible. And remember, impossible is just an opinion. So from someone, let me get more comfortable. See, I am someone who is living proof that when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Because let me tell you right now, yes, yes, I changed my diet. Yes, I started working out. Sorry, I just woke up. Yes. Yes. I did other things. Okay? But no, I didn't do any plastic surgery. No, I didn't put any chemicals or creams on my face or my hair. No, I didn't have any any type of treatments, facials, whatever. Well, I, I did some fruit ones. Guys, the the facials that I did to heal my skin were so simple, so easy. I put aloe on my face. I put grape. I cut grapes in half. I, I rubbed it into my skin. But the main thing that I did that helped me change the way I look, I started looking into the mirror and saying, I am beautiful. I am beautiful. I am loved. I am safe. I am worthy. I am worthy and deserving of love. I am willing to love myself. Okay, I started with I am willing to love myself because I didn't, I wasn't, I wasn't sure if I loved myself. So it felt weird for me to say I love you. So if you're in the same position and you want to change the way you look and you want to feel better and you want to feel beautiful and you want to look more beautiful and you want to feel attractive and you want to look more attractive and you want to just feel comfortable in your body. You want to be able to wake up and not have to wear makeup and not have to worry about the way you look and feel confident going online and being interviewed and doing photo shoots. If you want that or you just want to be comfortable, you know, going to work and going out and not having to wear makeup and not having to to feel Sorry, to feel less than. Well, this is what worked for me. And so I'm sharing it because this is craziness when I think about it, but it actually works. You go into the mirror daily, as many times a day as possible. I like to do it every time I go to the bathroom. There's always a mirror in the bathroom, right? There's always a mirror unless you're using those gas station bathrooms in the middle of nowhere on your road trip. Okay, that's why you got to keep a mirror on you. Okay, those nasty gas stations. But if you're going to the bathroom at home or at work or at school, there's a mirror. And I want you to look into, get into the habit of looking into your own eyes. Do it right now if you can. Yep. Yep, Zen Rosie. Look in the car, rear view mirror. And I want you to say, I love you. You are beautiful, strong, and amazing. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I want you to feel it. And I want you to treat yourself the way you treat others that you love and cherish and that are precious to you. See, a lot of us didn't grow up with loving kindness. A lot of us didn't grow up hearing that we were beautiful. A lot of us didn't grow up knowing our worth, knowing we were worthy and deserving of all the love and abundance in the universe. A lot of us grew up in toxic environments with people that were doing the best they could with the tools they had. The people that didn't feel worthy. So how could they make us feel worthy? And so we have to reparent ourselves. And it is not always easy. And it is uncomfortable. And it is silly. It feels very silly sometimes. And it feels too easy. And it feels like this can't be. I've got to get surgery. I've got to get boobs. I got to get breast implants. Or I got to get liposuction. Or I got to get micro blading. I don't know what that is, but 
I got to get lip implants. I got to get Botox. I got to get a hair transplant. Or I've got to get, um, I got to wear a wig. Or I've got to wear extensions. A lot of us are feeling unworthy. And because of that unworthiness, we're making those choices to have surgery or to have, um, to, you know, to buy lots and lots of makeup or to be in relationships with people who also don't see our worth and treat us like shit because that's all we've ever known. That's all we've ever known. So that feels comfortable. That feels like home, not feeling good enough. But if you're willing to change, if you are willing to step outside your comfort zone and look into your own eyes and say these crazy things like, I am beautiful, I am strong, I am amazing, I am disciplined, I am organized, I am gorgeous, I am so, so amazing. If we're willing to say these silly things to ourselves, well, then what happens is, I'm not joking, guys. You start to change the way you see yourself. And then the way you actually look starts to change. It is incredible. I, I can't even tell you because I have, I have, yes, I've lost weight, but I have not done anything I have not done anything drastic, but yet I have completely changed the way I look just by looking in the mirror and saying, I am willing to love myself. I am willing to believe that I'm beautiful. I am willing to be amazing. I am willing to be beautiful. I am willing to expect and accept miracles. I am willing to accept abundance. I am willing to accept love. You just got to be willing and the universe finds a way to do it for you. The universe opens up doors and windows that you didn't even know were there, that you don't even know were possible. I don't even, I can't even tell you how many miracles have happened in my life. I didn't know how any of it was going to happen. But I was willing to accept it. I was willing to just say it. Some days I wasn't even willing to accept it, but I just say it anyway. I am open and receptive to all the good and abundance in the universe. And I accept it now. I expect miracles. I am worthy. I am worthy. And so are you. And so is everyone. You see, a lot of us don't want to say these things because we feel like it's like narcissistic or we feel like, who are we, you know, to be special, to get special treatment? Well, guess what? You were born worthy. You were born special. You were born to thrive and to feel good and to have the energy and the resources and the abundance needed to make a big, big different difference in this world. That's why you were born. So you were born for miracles to happen, for you to be able to do that on a small scale, and then a medium scale, and then a big scale, and then an extra large scale. You were born to make a difference. Every little act of kindness you do it's like a ripple. It's like tossing a pebble into a river. And you get to see the ripple effect sometimes, but sometimes you don't. And you have no idea the choices you're making, how they affect other people. I think of people in my life that have done such amazing things for me and it inspires me to be just like them and do something amazing for someone else that can't do anything back for me. Okay? Because, yeah, 
there's a big difference. We want to treat our loves, our loved ones with kindness and love just for no reason, right? Get them gifts for no reason. Like it's so funny because it's like, it's hilarious guys. Me and my friends, we don't, like I got Awa a little gift for Christmas. Like really, like we didn't have much money. I got her something very small. And she was like, Jeanette, we promised we wouldn't get each other Christmas gifts. But the thing is, guys, like I was always getting me stuff, always. And I'm always buying her little things, like for no reason, for nothing. Just because I, I'm thinking of her, I'm like, oh my God, she would love this. So like when Christmas comes around, it's not really, it's not really a big deal. Like if she didn't get me anything, are you kidding me? Like she gets me stuff all the time and she does stuff for me all the time. And I know she doesn't do it to get something in return. I feel like a lot of people on Christmas, they get gifts for people because they have to. It's just like, I don't want anyone to get me a gift because they have to get me something because they feel obligated because they feel like I might be upset if they don't get me something. No, I don't want that. I want someone to get me something because they thought of me and they thought I might like it. And maybe it wasn't Christmas time, you know? And I have these people in my life that just think of me randomly. And yeah, gifts are one of my like love languages. I do love gifts. They make me feel special. And who doesn't love to be given something that they really, really wanted or needed or didn't know they needed, right? Like every time you go like to the container store or Costco, you see all these things you didn't know you needed. Who doesn't love to have someone give them those things? But, oh yeah, Awa did get me something actually, I just realized. But like, I didn't even notice because like we're always giving each other gifts. Yeah, she got me a new wallet to replace the old shitty wallet that she got me that I ruined because... (laughs) I just, I just, I don't want to talk about it. (laughs) I just put way too much stuff in that wallet. I just, I have too much money, y'all. It's hard sometimes. So anyway, um, I stretched out the wallet and so it got all fucked up. And then she got me a new one yesterday and it's so beautiful. And so if she's listening, thank you very much, Awa. I know you ain't listening because I, I produce too much content for you to keep up. But, um. Thank you very much, Awa, for that amazing gift. And um, guys, by the way, your wallet's got to be nice, okay? This is something I learned from Awa. You got to have a beautiful wallet because if you don't respect your wallet, your money, if you don't have a beautiful place to put your money into, you might not go, you might not manifest more of it. And in Asian culture, I, um, I don't know who taught me this, but a lot of people um, overseas in, in Asia, they have a special place they put their wallet every night. Like they basically put their wallet to bed. I can't remember who told me this. Sorry about that background noise if you hear it. It really bothers me. But anyway, uh, I got to get a little home for my, for my wallet because right now it's just in a bag, right? Like I keep it in my bag, but I want to keep it. I want to put it to bed at night. And they have a special place. A lot of people in Asian cultures, they have a special place where they put it and they say goodnight to it and they bless it. And they, they're they grateful for all the abundance that is effortlessly flowing to them. And um, I, by the way, if you have financial issues, if you, you want to manifest more abundance, I do have a meditation that I will leave the link to in the show notes. But if you also go to YouTube, you type in Misfit Vegan Abundance Meditation. And it's a five-minute um, meditation that I recorded with all of my affirmations on abundance that I like to do. And you know what? I'm going to do that now because I want to manifest more abundance in my life, financial abundance. But last thing I'll say, guys, because this has been a oh, this has been a valuable podcast. Let me tell you, I need a break. I need to take a nap. Um, just kidding. I just woke up and I actually was tired and I wanted to sleep more. But see, I had to get up to record this because I had, I had to. Like, 
When you're doing what you're supposed to do, you have to do it. It's really hard not for me not to record podcasts. And I tried to take some time off because of my mom's death and my grandma's death. And it was hard. It was so hard. Like, I really miss it. And I really miss doing interviews and being interviewed and going live and doing YouTube videos. I miss it so much. It's such a big part of my joy. It's such a big part of my life, my fun. That's what I do for fun, okay? And so, like, I haven't been having fun lately because I've been trying to process my emotions and not trying to shove them down with raw vegan Snickers. <clears throat> Guilty. <clears throat> I've been trying to feel my feelings and cry and, and not bulldoze myself and not gaslight myself and not do what I do best, which is disassociate. And maybe if you do that too, I, it's very easy for you, right? Like, it's easy to just be like, I'm fine. I'm fine. Anyway, um, I don't know all these tangents that I go on, but I, I wanted to say the last thing, which is, Mm, what was it? Well, we were talking about how to be beautiful, as beautiful as me. We're talking about how to be as rich as me, abundance, miracles. We were talking about what the fuck. I wanted to leave you guys with one last thing to wrap this up. Damn it. I, you know, I should really write out these episodes because I had it. I had it in my head before I started. Well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get back there. Hmm. Okay. This is it. This is the last thing I'll say, even though I have no idea what I wanted to end it with. Okay. The last thing I'll say is good things are supposed to happen to you. Good things are supposed to happen to you because you are beautiful, strong, and amazing. And there's a YouTube video I've been listening to called Beautiful, Strong, and Amazing by Billy Allsbrooks. I really, really recommend you listen to it. And it's convincing me that I am beautiful, strong, and amazing. And I am worthy. And so are you. And so is everyone. And that's why we don't need to be worried about being narcissists. We don't need to be worried about being self-centered. We don't need to be worried about you know, feeling like we're better than other people because we're not. We're all beautiful, worthy. We're all worthy of the abundance. And we need to manifest more abundance. Oh, I remember now the last thing I was going to say. Thank you very much. Shout out to myself for remembering. Here's what I was going to say, okay? Abundance It's not just monetary. When I tell you this affirmation works, y'all, I am open and receptive to all the good and abundance in the universe. And I accept it now. Mm. It feels so good. I just hugged myself. It feels so good to say it. It feels so good to acknowledge it and recognize it and feel it. Because even though maybe you might not be manifesting the money you want, okay? Maybe you're not a millionaire like Barbie. Sorry, Barbie. Oh, you're my friend now. So you in every podcast episode. <laughs> Maybe you're not a millionaire or a billionaire like Sherry. Okay? Sherry's um, email and address are below to request money. Maybe you're not a billionaire yet. But there's abundance of other things that are worth more than money. You can have an abundance of love an abundance of peace, an abundance of beautiful things and people around you, an abundance of time for you to organize your closet. Sorry, that's just what I'm going to do today. <laughs> and ab- amongst other things, an abundance of, of excitement. You can have an abundance of excitement for what you do every day. You can have an abundance of, of organizational skills. You can have an abundance of fresh air, an abundance of sweat. Ooh, an abundance of sweat means you get in the body of your dreams, boo. You can manifest and acknowledge the abundance of nature around you if you happen to live in a beautiful place. Okay? 
You can acknowledge the abundance of family and friends, the abundance of ideas, the abundance of creativeness, the creative energy that is flowing to you at all times. Woo, this is abundance, y'all. Do you see it? You can notice and acknowledge the abundance of gratitude that you have. You can notice the abundance of good memories, the abundance of life in your, in your cells, in your food, the life force in your food, the abundance of biophotons. You can notice the abundance of love you get online, the abundance of love you get at work, the abundance of love you get from your pet the abundance of, of love you get from your plants, the, the oxygen and life that they give off to you. You can start to notice the abundance of resources you have, the abundance of natural resources you have, the air, the water. You most likely have running water if you're listening to this. How about the abundance of technology you have available to you? How about the abundance? Oh, I got to stop. There's too much abundance Listen, I got to take a break. I got to take a break. There's too much abundance in my life. And it's just like, whoa, it's so overwhelming. What about the abundance of clothing you have? The abundance of recipes, the amazing, healthy, delicious, raw vegan recipes you have. Boo, if you got the internet, you have millions of trillions. You can't even count. You could never even count the amount of amazing, healthy recipes that are at your fingertips for free. By the way, if you're looking for free recipes, okay, go to www.100freerecipes.com. But that's only 100. There's actually trillions. And what about, oh my gosh, the abundance of, the abundance of knowledge and wisdom and guidance and information available to you for free, for free. YouTube, baby. YouTube, baby. And hey, if you got $15 a month, Audible, okay? Like $15 a month gets you these amazing audiobooks. And by the way, a lot of audiobooks are on YouTube for free. You don't even need to join Audible, but I mean, I'm not sponsored, but I love Audible. But you can go to the library. You can get books for free. You can go online. You can go on YouTube. A lot of books. Just type in a book that you want and type in audiobook on YouTube and it's probably there. It's probably for free. But see, because you have not been aware and acknowledging the abundance in your life, you don't see it. So you can't, you haven't been going to YouTube to listen to these audiobooks. You haven't been, um, you haven't been researching and looking up things like Brad Yates. Okay, for you to be tapping the abundance of videos that Brad Yates has for free. Thousands. This can, this can change your life. Meditations by Misfit Vegan. You listen to one of those every single day, every single night. You go and change your life, Louise Hay. Okay, I don't know why I'm putting myself in the same category as Brad Yates and Louise Hay, but let's just go with it, okay? All right. RC Blake's Teal Swan. Uh, uh, David got, well, I don't know if you should listen to David Goggins while you fall asleep. That's what I do. It's not exactly healthy. Okay. But Louise Hay, Wayne Dyer. Oh, so many others that I can't even think of right now. So many others that have amazing, oh, Robin Sharma. Les Brown. Listen to one of these videos. Listen to an hour a day of something positive and uplifting. Billy Allsbrooks. Any one of these names, type it in. Jim Rohn. It's going to help you, boo. It's going to save your life. And it's going to help you understand the abundance and the, mm, the privileges that you have that you don't even know you have at your fingertips. The things that can help you change your life. So I thank you very much for listening so long. Oh my God, a 30-minute podcast, Rosie. What the fuck? Thank you so very much for being here, for being here, and for being you, 
and for, for stepping into your greatness, boo. Like Rosie, she stepped into her greatness. How do I know this? Oh, I can't wait to meet you, Rosie, because here's why. You doing what you were born to do, and people like you inspire me. And if you guys don't know, Rosie, oh, I forgot her new name. Is your name still Zin Rosie on Instagram? Please let me know. I, oh, I got to look it up. But just, just go to my page and go to my likes. And Rosie probably liked the last thing I, I put out because she just liked that. She on it like that. She liked my last um, reel or my last post. Uh, so now you got to like everything, Rosie, so people can find your ass. But basically, Rosie's a Zumba instructor and she's dancing for a living. And do you understand? Do you understand that there's somebody out there? Actually, I know so many people that would love to dance for a living. They would love to get fit and dance for a living, to get paid to work out, okay? This is like a dream for some people, but they don't think it's possible. They don't understand that it's possible. They don't know it's possible. And Zin Rosie is helping people understand that it's possible by her living her dreams, by her doing what she was born to do. She's letting other people get, have the permission and, and understand that they can do it too, See, when you step into your destiny, when you do what you were born to do, you not only help other people to, you know, you know, change their life, whether that's in fitness or whatever it is, right? Or in health like me or in finance or whatever it is, right? But when you are do when you step into do what you were supposed to do, not only does the universe have your back, okay, and let you do that for a living but then you inspire other people to do exactly the same thing and they would have never done it without you. This is how it works. This is how it's supposed to work. You are supposed to do what you were born to do. And, and sometimes I know you're just like, wait, is it possible? I don't think it's possible. This is not how it works. This is not how I was raised. I wasn't raised to, 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 to be happy and get paid for it. I wasn't raised with this mentality. I was raised with, you got to suffer through life. Life is struggle. You got to suffer. You got to struggle at work. You got to work at Walmart. You got to make that $12 an hour and then taxes. And then this is just how the world works, Jeanette. I got to do something I don't want to do. To make the money to pay rent, pay my bills and die. I got to I got to eat this food because this I've been addicted to this food for 20, 30, 40 years. I got to. Okay? I got to um live out my destiny which is somebody it's just somebody miserable, sick and depressed. But I'm here to tell you guys and I'm wrapping this up, I promise, but I'm here to tell you right now. No, you were born to be beautiful, strong and amazing. And you better start recognizing it. Because you're the only one, you're the only one who can recognize it for you. You can have a million fans like me and Zen Rosie. You can have a million people telling you all day long you're beautiful, strong, and amazing. But until you believe it, until you accept it, accept it, it don't mean a damn thing what other people say. Until you accept that. Until you start to come into the realization that you were born to do what you love for a living. And yeah, that might mean you got to quit your job without a plan. Yep. <laughs> Maybe, see, mm, a lot of you not going to like this because it's scary as fuck. But see, this is what happened to me. And so I can only share my journey Okay, I can't share a theory. I'm a practitioner, guys. I can only share what I've been practicing and what has worked for me. And what had to happen is I had to let go of my dream job to step into my destiny. Yes, I had a dream job, but it wasn't my destiny. It wasn't what I was here to do because I was only affecting, I was only helping 10 people at a time, 20 people at a time. And I was born to help millions at a time. I was born, I was born to do this podcast, to reach hundreds of thousands of millions of people, step into their destiny and stop eating dead animal body parts and start feeling beautiful, strong, and amazing, okay? Start understanding 
that food is mood and there's nothing wrong with you. You're addicted to chemicals because they were designed in a factory, in a science lab to make you addicted to them. Okay? I was born to help people eat fruit and be cute. I was born to help people know their worth. And see, you were born to do something too, but you hold it on to that job that either you love or you hate. See, if you love the job, it's even harder to leave. Ooh, it was hard for me to leave this job, y'all. Because I was getting paid to be a professional vegan. You understand? I was getting paid to inspire people to go vegan, teach people how to make smoothies and juices. But see, I was working for somebody that wasn't doing what they were supposed to do. And so they were, they were telling me what to do. And it was really hard for me because they were telling me, mm, Jeanette, uh, we decided that um, we don't want you to say the word vegan anymore. We want you to say the word plant-based instead because, um, you know, it's just not the brand that we're going for. Uh, we want to be inclusive and no, no. I wasn't born to be told that I cannot say the word vegan. I was not born to be told what to do and you were not either. You have a gift. You have a, you have a destiny You have a calling written on your heart and you were born to live out that and you can't do it if you're holding on. Listen to yesterday's episode, guys. You can't step into your destiny if you're holding on to your past. You can't step into thrive mode. You can't start thriving if you're still stuck in surviving. Ooh, Tessa. Mm Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. You can't start thriving if you are dedicated to surviving, if you still stuck on surviving, something like that, you make it, make it nice, Tessa. Okay. So you could take, um, take a creative, um, liberty with all these quotes. Okay. I'm just going, I'm going to drop the gems and you're going to refine the gems. Okay. I'm going to drop the coal and you're going to make it into a diamond. Mm. Ooh, that's a quote too. It don't stop. I know. I know. And just don't stop. Okay, so um, let me wrap this up because this is quite a long episode. Um, but hey, Jocko Willink, he does three-hour episodes. So y'all better be grateful, okay? Y'all need to be grateful that I keep it sometimes, you know, 10 minutes, sometimes 40 minutes. But hey, one day I might be doing three-hour ones in, Rosie. So <laughs> be grateful. I love you guys so much. I thank you very much. If you got to the end of this, Ooh, you a real one. You a real one. Okay. And if you got to the end of this, you know what? I got it. I want to do something for you. What can I do for you? See, if you got to the end of this podcast, you probably already have all my stuff. But if you don't, do me a favor. Okay. I'm going to know you got to the end of this if you email me the word real one. Okay. Email me the word real one to jd at misfitvegan.com and I'm going to send you a gift. I'm going to send you something, boo, because you is a real one. I appreciate you. I love you. And I want you to go to the mirror right now. Yep. Again. Yep. And I want you to say, I love you. You are beautiful, strong, and amazing. You are sexy. You are gorgeous. You are so smart. You are so talented. You are so beautiful, strong, and amazing. Go listen to that YouTube video, guys. I love you, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, boo.